Hello, this is Chris Menard. I have got awesome news if you're an Excel user and you like VLOOKUP. Microsoft Excel just came out with a brand new function called XLOOKUP. It is uh, only for Office Insiders right now. So if you don't have this yet and you're on Office 365, you'll have it soon. I'm going to reference the article that they came out with while I run through this video showing you what XLOOKUP does. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to pull up the article real quick. There's the URL up at the top. You can see that it's about the XLOOKUP. There are the six items I'm going to cover. Uh, defaults to an approximate match. Let me run through that one real quick and then I'll come back over here. VLOOKUP by default wants to do an approximate match. So I've already done one VLOOKUP in cell B2. I'm going to do one more VLOOKUP before I do my XLOOKUP. So I'm looking up the employee ID, comma. i got to highlight the entire table or range, comma. This always throws people off whenever I'm training. Whenever you're doing VLOOKUP, column index number. Inside that range, what am I looking for? I'm looking for department. It's column E, but it is the fifth column over in that range comma, VLOOKUP defaults to true for an approximate match, but this definitely needs to be false. I'm looking for an exact match here. I'll do an approximate match in just a second. So I'm going to get the right department, administration. Let's see how this works with the new XLOOKUP function. I'm going to do this over here. So equals XLOOKUP, five arguments, Three are required. This is so cool. I'm still looking up A1. That hasn't changed. I'm sorry, A2. Comma. Where could that be? I'm going to highlight the employee IDs. Notice I didn't highlight the entire table. I just did the employee IDs. And then the next argument is what do you want to return? I want to return the department. The default for XLOOKUP is an exact match. So I'm actually done right now. I have administration. Just so you can follow along with this, I'm going to do a formula text function. So you can see these functions later without having to keep. So there's the XLOOKUP function. There's the VLOOKUP function. I'm going to go back to that article in just a second, but another point is with the VLOOKUP, I need to, in my range, put in their manager. So I'm going to right click and insert, shift to the right. So watch this. When I do insert, VLOOKUP is about to break. So watch cell C2. Because now it's still looking for that fifth column, that third argument in VLOOKUP. The number five is throwing things off. But look at my XLOOKUP. It is still correct. So that is an awesome, awesome feature right there. I'm going to do an undo though, just to show you that. I'm going to pop back over to that article. That is number one we covered. I just did number two, XLOOKUP does support insertions and deletions, VLOOKUP does not. Item number three, it cannot look to the left, VLOOKUPs can't look to the left, let's prove it. I'm going to swap worksheets. I want to find employee ID in G1, here's my range over here, when I find the employee ID, I want to find the name of the employee. If you know, if you already know VLOOKUP, you know this isn't going to work. I'm looking for G1. I'm trying to find the employee ID. So there's my table range, column one. And again, I got to type in the word false. It's not going to work whether I did false or true. Pound NA. VLOOKUP can only go one way. But the XLOOKUP, let's see what happens here. G1, argument number two, 
comma, return array. I should get Chris Menard here. Perfect. There you go. Let's test it one time. Helps if I type in the right. There you go. There's X look up. It looks both ways. Another item, and before I do this, XLOOKUP works with VLOOKUP, which most of us use most of the time I'm doing a VLOOKUP. I rarely have to do an HLOOKUP, but once in a blue moon, somebody will send me some data. So I wanted to see if the XLOOKUP will work with HLOOKUP, horizontal. Here we go. So here's the vertical. I'm sorry. Here's the horizontal with HLOOKUP. HLOOKUP. I'm trying to find quarter one. And if I find quarter one, I want to know what's the gross profit, which should be $25,000 looking at this data down below here. Okay, comma, table array, comma, instead of saying column index number, because I'm doing an H lookup, it has row index number, and this really throws people off during training. It is because inside that data range, the 25000 the gross profit is the fourth one down. False again. 25000 Let's ch uh, check this real quick. I'm going to make it quarter two. I put a drop down in here. I should get 36150 Perfect. Let's go see if it'll work with an H lookup. I'm sorry. Let's go see if it'll work with an X lookup. Sure it will. You know it's going to. I'm looking up that. Comma. Lookup array. Let's pick up the total. Comma. Return. This is so much better than H. It's already false. I'm good. Watch this. Same principle as step number one the second ago. When I inserted that column and shifted to the right, VLOOKUP broke. Well, if I insert a row, HLOOKUP will break. But XLOOKUP is still working. There you go. There, so there's an HLOOKUP working with XLOOKUP. The next one I want to do, this is another cool feature. Let me point this one out real quick before I do it. So we've done the first three. Um... I'm going to do the fifth one right now. Cannot search for the next larger item. Again, they're talking about VLOOKUP can't. But let's see if the XLOOKUP can because they're claiming it can. The VLOOKUPs I've done so far have all been false. This one's going to be a true. So when I do the XLOOKUP, I'm going to show you how to make it true because by default, XLOOKUP is false. So if you purchase 750 bucks, your discount percentage, I'm looking in row 12, should be 2%. So equals VLOOKUP, the 750, comma, the table array, perfect, comma, looking for the second column. This one needs to be true because if you purchase 750, you get a 2% discount. But if you purchase 775 or 790, you still get a discount. So this is why this one is not false. 2%. Let's test it. I'm going to change the 750. We'll make that 775. I'm still getting the 2%. But watch what I can do if I want to. Here's your X lookup. Comma. Look up array, return. Now recall X lookup by default is false, so I'm actually now over in the fourth argument for X lookup. I haven't had to use this yet. Are you looking for an exact match? Because that is the default for X. The answer is no. I'm going to do a negative one. I should get 2%. And I do. I'm going to do the formula text for you. 
So you can see that right there. Now, VLOOKUP is correct, but what I'm about to do with the XLOOKUP is impossible with the VLOOKUP. If you purchase 750, you're getting 2% from my table below. And if you purchase 775, I decided, you know what? I want to bump you up to the next percentage, which would be three. Well, instead of this negative one argument, I'm going to backspace all the way through it so you can see this. Do that one more time. So I'm on the fourth argument. I don't want exact. I don't want negative one. X lookup allows us to find the next larger item. So I'm going to do a one. I should get 3%. And I did. Another cool feature of X lookup. One more test before we leave here. Let's just make this 1250. They should be exactly the same. Let's make it 1251. I should get 5% versus 7%. Amazing. Back to my Microsoft article. So I just, I've done one, two, and three. I just did number, the fifth one. Um, cannot search from the back. Let's do that one. I've already done the VLOOKUP right here. There it is. I'm looking for product B. Notice in my data range, I've got the months running in column B, January, Feb, March. I've got running totals in C. The VLOOKUP is only going to find, the first time it finds B, which is row 3, it's returning the 15. Well, I don't want the 15. I want to go from the bottom up. So I'm looking for the highest. So it's going to be equals X lookup. Now you know I'm looking for product B. Lookup array, comma, return, comma, match mode, exact match, comma. So I'm on the last argument, the fifth argument for X lookup. And this is really cool. I want to search last to first, so I'm doing a negative one. I should get the number 45 here. And I do. So there is looking from the back up with X lookup. The last thing to cover, well, two more, two more quick ones here. Watch this one. I've got a list of products over here to the right. That's my master product list right here because I've got a lot of products. But when I put in the letter X, I want to return the values for quarter one, two, three, and four. Now, you know I could do this with a VLOOKUP, but I would have to do comma two, comma three, comma four. It would be a lot of work. Watch what X lookup will do here. I'm trying to find that product, and I'm going to end up going down the screen. So I'm going to do a little bit of referencing here. I'm going to do a mixed reference. I'm only looking in column A, comma. I want to look up in this range. I'm going to make that absolute, comma, return. I only want to look in the rows in this one. So I'm only looking in row two through eight. Watch what happens. I'm done. I don't need anything else. You're expecting me to get the number 24 in cell B2. I'm agreeing with you, but watch what happens. I get them all. 24, 30, 25, and 22. Isn't that amazing? I click on the 24. Crosshairs, pull down. Let's test one more. Product A, 28, 21, 33, 27. Amazing. There is that X lookup function but it did multiple cells at one time. The very last one, I'm gonna jump back over here and this will cover the last of it. Um, with an X lookup, I'm still looking up that person, comma, lookup array, that's range, comma. When you're on the third argument, the return array, 
you know I want the person's name, and I can do that, but I want their name, and I want the city. Oops. So instead of just doing A2 to A13, I did A2 through B13. Watch what happens. And again, the default is false. Let's change that back to me. Chris Menard, Atlanta. There you go. Take a look back at the notes one last time and I'm going to be done. That is the number six, reference more, reference more cells than necessary, V lookup, nope, X lookup, yes. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate your time. I don't usually go this long on my videos, but feel free to subscribe. But I wanted to cover all six of those in one video, only for Office 365 users. Um, have a great day. Have a great Sunday, a great uh, holiday tomorrow. Thank you.